On my quest to find extraordinary humans, the first man I investigate is an athlete like no other. He's taken inspiration from the animal world and claims to be the fastest man on all fours. I really love the monkeys, especially the patas monkey, which can run really fast. I saw the monkey and I tried it in a park and that's how it all began. So you're the world's best at quad running and there's only about a hundred of you that do this in the whole world at the moment. Is there a world championships? There's only actually one championship in the whole world, just once a year in Japan, and the record's actually held by me. As I watch him run around the park, I can't see how he can reach the speeds that he claims. I want to try it out for myself. Like a dog and cat. I've been going for less than a minute, and I'm already out of breath. I just don't see how humans can physically pick up speed in this way. Wow, that's pretty quick. Trying it for myself, I've certainly gained a respect for how tough it is on the body. Kenichi tells me he also has some big ambitions. Every year my record progresses by one second, so if this progress can go on, I'll be able to participate in the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. And ultimately, I might be able to even beat Usain Bolt. Wow. Here at Cal State University, Professor Yingling is studying Kenichi's movement to see how it differs from known human capabilities. Is it possible for me to do an analysis as well so we can see the difference between two legs and four? Absolutely. That would be great. Great. OK. Professor Yingling and her students have set high-speed video cameras at three points along a 50-metre track. From this, we'll be able to analyse and compare our running techniques. Four, set, go! Having captured footage, initial tests have shown how different Kenichi's technique is from a bipedal runner. But I want to find out just how far he's pushing the known limits of human performance. Dr. Smith's high-tech lab specializes in the 3D motion capture and analysis of human movement. Using cameras mounted around the room and pressure plates on the floor, I'll be able to get an insight into the forces Kenichi creates when he runs. So changing over into his quadrupedal running, there seems to be a significant drop at the power or the force going through his legs. Exactly. Quadrupeds in the animal world have specifically adapted joints to cushion the impact of running on four limbs. Human arms and wrists just aren't designed to take that kind of strain. Could years of running on all fours have resulted in a physical adaptation? I've sent him for a bone scan of his arms to get a clearer picture. So I'm dying to know, did we get any really interesting results? We did. So his total area at the wrist was 18% bigger than a male cross-country runner, bipedal, of the same height and weight. The density at the wrist was a 10% increase compared to the bipedal cross-country runner. Whatever the loading on his forelimbs are, he is adapting in multiple ways, size and density to maintain his bone strength. I'm amazed at what we found out. This story is certainly an unusual one. There's no denying that Ken has taken his passion and really tried to perfect the art of running on all fours, which, although I think is quite peculiar, he's doing pretty well at it, and his body is adapted in the most extraordinary way. <laughs>